Hi, Hillary here. I want to talk a little bit about setting your bridge in the right place. So, it's a basically a fairly simple concept. Your string vibrates from this fixed point, the nut, to the bridge. That whole length of the string is vibrating, right? If you depress that string at the 12th fret, that should be halfway between this and this. So you could set your bridge by measurement, and I just don't usually bother to do that because I don't usually have a ruler, but I usually have a tuner or my ears around. And I'll say you usually want to tweak a little bit with the tuner or your ears anyway. So when you, when you press this here, this is one whole octave higher than this, and that's what you're looking for. What happens if you press down here and your tuner says you're, you're sharp? If it says you're sharp, then that means that this distance, because you can't change this and it doesn't matter because that's not what's vibrating here, from here to here, if it's too sharp, you need to make it lower. And to make it lower, you need to make this length of string longer. And we do that by moving the bridge in that position. Now, what if you did this... You have this string in tune with your tuner, and then, then you press here, and it says that, if it said that it was flat, if it's flat, that means that this, this thing needs to be higher, which means you would then want to move your bridge this way to shorten the distance, because remember, a, a shorter distance will mean a higher note. So if it's flat, then you want to shorten this to bring it up. Now, when you set your bridge, you want to always check both your first string and your fourth string. And just don't worry too much about the middle strings because if you have a straight bridge, that's all you're going to be able to deal with. And it may be that your bridge will be at an angle if it's a straight bridge. It may not be straight across. It may be angled like this a little bit in order to make that fourth string in tune. Now, if you have a banjo that, uh, say you get all in tune and then and you press down on the string, and you're in tune, and you think your ba your band your bridge is in the right place at the first and the fourth fret, but still, say your your third string sounds sharp or something when you're playing it. That's a common problem, and it may mean that you might f have better luck having a compensated bridge, which this is a version of a compensated bridge, and it's both a compensated bridge and it's a little bit at an angle. This is just how my banjo sounds best. So what this is, is this curve is going this, I'm exaggerating, this is going this way, which means that the, the third string is, when, when uh, depressed at the 12th fret, it is a little bit longer, um, this third string, so that it will play in tune. Um, it's longer because the bridge is curved. It's, it's, it's a longer string length than, than for those strings. So. You can get all kinds of different compensated bridges. This one's called a moon bridge. It's just my favorite. I've been buying them for years. Um, but uh, And they come in different weights. I like a heavyweight one because uh, it's just the sound I like. But um, that's how that works. And uh, you can also use a... Oh, the kids are coming home from school. Uh-oh. So uh, I'll finish this up. You can also use uh, harmonics. If you basically pluck the note and touch it right above the fret at the same time. You can make a nice ringing sound and compare that with the fretted note. And they should be the same in that case. Uh, and that's how you would do that. Okay. You can, uh, let me know if you have any questions.